before, after. Okay, so work the left hand one now. Center wise, pretty good. Left hand grip, which they can get a little bit more over. Not massively, just a bit more in the fingers there, okay? But overall, the swing, the center is good. As you go back, left arm now starts. We can see already starting to bend and we call collapse or call bow. Top of the back swing here now. Your hand's very close to your body in that position. Yeah. There's a lot of hinging and pivoting kind of in here and in there, okay? So I think your left arm started kind of there. And then you get to the top of the back swing, it's all kind of <laughs> mashed yeah. and folded. So now you've now basically you've taken your left arm and done that. So now it's not going to reach the ground, is it? No. So therefore you've got to try and extend and throw and drop. If you do it well, it'll be a good shot, but it's too many variables, okay? What we're looking for as the club goes back now. There you go, so that left arm is this left arm here, we should see that. If we put the left arm to the same position back on this one. Look at your left wrist. Yeah, there. Wrist is yeah. Lift lift mm -hmm. left wrist is straighter. More width here. Sorry. See? Yeah. There's a bit of the arm. This, this now is kind of maintaining a little bit this way. Now, don't look at that and go, oh, it's still not good. I wouldn't expect to go click your no. fingers and be perfect. It's just working in the right direction. What can't speak can't lie. Suddenly now you've got a much. Whereas before you were kind of crossing the, a one foot wide bridge, trying to be get to the side. Yeah. Doable but very difficult. Now you're crossing a five foot wide bridge. Still doable but not as difficult. If we can get to a better position, it makes the bridge 10 yards wide. Yeah. It's still able to get from one side to the other, but you're making it easier to do that rather than making it really hard and to try and allow for four or five. Exactly, yeah. So top of the back to the net, left wrist, a little bit bending, but compared to that kind of like, can't even do it. No, I can touch my hands. Right? You got your, Things. yeah, your, um, hyper, was it hyper flexible, oh, yeah, hyper, hyper mobile? Yeah. Women, I think for whatever reason, again, not really, they tend to have quite a lot of range of motion there. Yeah and it can move a lot more, okay? Not a bad thing, as long as you're aware of how the wrist needs to move. But then when you come back to the golf ball here now, lovely strike, that ball's on the ground, bring it up in the air, and a full twist through to yeah. target. There's a few things in the throws we can look at, obviously, another time we get the group lessons with you and Nick and yeah. Heather, but from today's point of view, if you can just work on that hinge. So when you're halfway back here, what you'll be looking for is roughly an L shape. Yeah. yeah. So your left arm is sort of to the ground, sort of fairly parallel, club swinging up. Not locking your arm, keeping it straight, just take your left arm from here, and do that. Yeah. So that's that, that move there. You watch my thumb, then my thumb points down the ground, goes up. It's not that way. And you were yeah. kind of that. That's kind of the move you were making. That bending of the left arm, therefore getting very sort of narrow and very collapsed. Okay. Get the L shape on the way back, and then just the way through. You kind of repeat that on the way through, which is not far away. That was a bit too high there, but for the most part, not too bad. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Good stuff. I have a couple more then.